It's Think Tank Watch, and who have we got on today's episode? And head of media at the right-leaning Institute of Economic Affairs and columnist at the Conservative Home website, Emily Carver. Yes, it's Emily Carver from the Dodgy Institute of Economic Affairs, a think tank funded by donations from oil companies and tobacco groups. This is on Question Time back in May 2022 when Johnson was under investigation for Partygate. So, of course, Emily sprung to his defence. I mean, I understand why a lot of people are furious and have been furious with Boris Johnson over this. I do understand that. But I think taking a step back and looking at this at the moment, Keir Starmer himself is under the cosh. He's under a police investigation in Durham. We have Boris Johnson, who's been done for one fine for essentially... uh, I don't think he even ate the cake at this event that he was (laughs) supposedly at. And here she's about to say we should be cautious of putting a windfall tax on the energy companies. But let's see how she reacts when she's challenged about the less than transparent nature of the IEA by SNP MP Alan Smith. So they are adding a lot of costs onto people and we go to the windfall tax, which sounds great, but there are unintended consequences to that on investment, particularly when we need more supply in the energy system. So I do think that there's a lot the government could be doing, but I do. I am wary of populist measures. Alan? Well, if we're talking about transparent sources of finance, I, I do hope we can start with Emily's organisation and uh, the, t- the transparency of who we're all representing tonight. I am uh, you, deeply on, worried. That's, that's... Do you want to explain what you mean by that? The organisation that Emily's representing Which is the Institute has been of Economic Affairs. the Institute of Economic Affairs has been rated by various uh, other think tanks as being non-transparent in the financing of its organisation. Now we're all How entitled to have boring. our opinions here. We're all Probably entitled you, to have our opinions. I'm my own person. I can speak for myself. Thank you very much. Well, my my concern is I'm concerned about who you're actually speaking for. I'm here because I was elected. Um, She's here because she's elected. Let let Emily have a chance to respond to that before you answer this substantive question. Well, firstly, the Institute of Economic Affairs keeps the privacy of our donors. We welcome when donors would like to say that they fund us or donate or give to our charity. But otherwise, I think I'm sat here on a panel as myself, representing my organisation, representing the fact that I'm a columnist at Conservative Home and also representing the fact that I've done my research on many issues. And I think I certainly am very happy and deserving of being here. So, do you want and we're very happy that you're on the panel. Click here for a video about the man who helped put extra money on your mortgage, Mark Littlewood.